What is going on? What is going on, guys? I'm still in the house, my brother. How are you, bro? How are you? How are we doing? There's a ton, tons of stuff going on today. And, uh, yeah, man. Good to have you, bro. Good to have you. By the way, I'm I'm hoping to see you in Dubai soon, huh? Once you start making your bull run money, you need to come over here, bro. I have to do a red carpet for you. Who else is in the house? Let me sort this chat out. Every time I get this chat is ridiculous. Um uh, we've got we've got a good show tonight, boys. We've got a good show tonight. We're gonna talk about a few things, address some FUD, and uh hopefully I don't need to be here for two hours. Cause that last one was absolute extreme. <laughs> Let's see who else we've got. I can't actually make the chat pop out, but that's okay. Yeri, what is going on, brother? Cool, cool. Let's have a look. See if these chats can can really pop up. What is going on, John? My brother Muzz in the house. What is this? Still don't know how to work this chat anyway, but I can see your comments. Plenty of things going on. Are we about to get another Black Swan event? Are we going to have more FUD? And can we fill our bags with quality projects? These are the questions. And uh, I really wanted to talk about, <clears throat> yeah, what's going on, Ash? Ash in the house. Noja bought more mint layer. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Man, these chat pop-ups. Let's see if I can fix these. Anyway, Ash from, from the UK. What's going on, Ash? Which part of the UK are you from? Plenty to talk about because I, I love seeing a red market and the market is certainly red today. And, uh, you know, long may that continue for a bit. You've heard the news of uh, Ocean, Fetch and AGIX merging, which is pretty big. And you've got KuCoin and the SEC winning the court, court case, or it's going to go to court now, but the SEC scores big. It's probably not going to impact the market that much, but we do like to cover these things. Um, so the ruling in favor of the SEC comes as Coinbase has become a go-to partner for big Wall Street asset managers. This could be, I mean, if you put everything together, plus the halving coming up, retail could be given a lifeline here. And I'm being optimistic. I'm being super bullish. But... The topics I want to address today is, um, apart from these two, you know, the SEC coming back, um, I want to address the ability of certain projects to list on Binance or Coinbase. As we are led to believe, everything rips and everything is 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 um, listed on Coinbase and um, KuCoin, not KuCoin, and Binance. Will that be realistic for your some of, some of your smaller projects? So we need to also check that out. Yeah, amazing. First of all, before I jump into this, man, let me give everyone a shout out. Um, so let's go his passport. That's fantastic. John is here. Amazing. Ash is here from the UK. John is here all the way from Mavia. <laughs> I'm joking. Hello, Invelta from the Netherlands. Hope you're well. And um, yeah, today I'm going to make it a short one, but I think it's a, you know, it's right that we discuss these things because right now I think retail is sleepwalking into a lot of mediocre projects 
and the expectation that everything is going to be listed on a tier one exchange, we can still do really well without having tier one. But that also comes with some planning. Um, and just to give you an example, I tested to sell a coin today that went up, but it had low liquidity. So for the bull market, I think you need to think about the money flow. Amazing, guys. Amazing. God bless you all. Uh, Ash from Manchester. Guys, if you could let me know where you're from, that would be absolutely amazing. Because each one of these lives, I get to know you guys. So, uh, yeah, I've been to Manchester for sure. <laughs> it's always raining in Manchester. <laughs> Daniel, what's going on, brother? Good to have you. Uh, very good question. What's happening with ML? I think that's a good place to start. Um, so look, the the answer from me is right now there is some behind the scenes squabbles, right? And this has been happening on for two years. So as far as the project is concerned, I don't have any concerns. Having said that, I've invited the um, the founder who is incredibly experienced and he's from, I think he's, he worked on Tether before. I've literally invited him to the, uh, to do an AMA. I have a long list of sheets, uh, sorry, long list of questions. One of them being price action uh, against the general direction of the market. So that's all coming up, guys. They ha There's an event coming up in Dubai and they've kind of invited me to come and do the AMA there, but I would love to do it in a studio because there's a lot of questions that need to come. Now, with this uh, with this downward trend that you see here, that's actually gone, you know, what we have a key level here right now. You've literally got a supreme key level here. And yeah, mint layer has to hold these levels, to be honest. It really has to hold these levels. So, uh, so at the moment, the only FUD that I can think of right now is, you know, we've had this all-time highs. Uh, you know, to be fair to the project, it did, you know, it did about 10x from its lows, went over 70 cents. But I do have a list of questions that I want to ask the team. And I think we want to give the every investment the best opportunity. The tech's not deniable. The narrative is not deniable. And um, the only thing that's deniable is making sure uh, that the team team comes and clarifies a few questions for us. And, and I'm sure they'll do that. So we've got Washington, D.C. in the house, Johnny. And we've got New York in the house, my man, Muzz. Of course, we've got Miami in the house with uh, Armzilla there. We've got Manchester with Ash. Thank you very much, guys. Big shout out. We've got Daniel from Portugal. Uh, which which city, Daniel? Lisbao or Porto? Or those are the only two cities I know. Um, but yeah, guys, look. Uh, does anybody know what the video that caused the ML fud? Um, the, the the video was kind of. Uh, I, I've I've had an opportunity to look at that, and uh, to be honest, look. For me, the ultimate fud is stealing investors' money. And it wasn't really about that. Uh, it was more about there's, there's a big squabble going on about who founded the project and, and how the, uh, the current guy is taking over the project. Stuff like that, but it has nothing to do with the actual, um, actual project itself. I mean, yesterday I kind of posted they've got about uh, five, five or six uh, VCs along with our investment money. So, so far, I mean, they've, they were, they were able to A, respond to me, B, look at my previous video, which I did on Monday. And I think that came in the right time as well, because the, I can think of being probably the most heavily, uh, invested creator in Mintlayer. And, uh, that, that's just giving them time and believing the technology. I've read a code review. Uh, so all of that's fine to me, but what, what we need now is the next level. You know, I want to ask them what tier listings they have coming up. 
uh, and when, because obviously we're going into the halving now. So we just want to see these plans. If these plans, if we're not happy with those plans, then we can, I think, as a community, look at our uh, look at our stance. So, yeah, that's ML so far. Nothing to worry about yet, but keep watching the channel. Um, yeah, dance from close to Porto are oh, very nice. I do like Portugal. Perhaps you know some of our American friends can travel travel to Europe after the uh, after the bull run when you make your millions. <laughs> So that that's um, that's mint layer there, but to be honest, the uh, the discount market is incredible, um, and I hope these things continue. We have, for the first time, some some of my um, some of our VIP members were able to venture into the world of Tao. Congratulations to to the guys who got in here, because I think some of the criteria here was below six hundred dollars. Um, you know, in terms of the gaming projects, you had this massive wick with OTK. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, it's all good accumulation, small, you know, tiny, but very good project, in my, in my opinion. Um, what is going on, PT? What is happening, brother? Guys, I saw this, um, I saw this little graphic today, um, on some things I was posting. I can't believe it, man. Don't you wish if we can just turn back the hands of time? So you've got a DCA buy here of eight cents. And the AGI one, which I absolutely love. This was just like 0 0.097. And when we started buying this, I think we bought this at five cents or less in December. About four or five cents, something like that. So we have, we, we've been into decent, these, uh, the other one that I saw was um, uh, Orange, Arrow, a few good ones. I mean, we don't, we don't like to brag here, but I think we've made some incredible, uh, incredible calls collectively, if I can add. Uh, but yeah, if you're not in our group, please, we've got tons of stuff coming up. I've been building a, um, a website as well, um, and Part of the reason why I'm building this is because I'm working on a a company formation platform that helps people uh, from the outside to come and cash out in Dubai to settle, um, you know, to to you know to to make sure that they can have access to this uh, tax free economy during the bull run. So I'm still getting through this. Um, it's still a lot of work to do, but we're starting to. Um, starting to actually develop something outside of uh and we're, we're gonna have services as well that can help you settle in dubai um chilling like a villain <laughs> so watch out for that guys if any of you as long as you bring your tangem um as long as you've got one of these you can book your flight to dubai and uh yeah we'll take care of the uh <laughs> we'll take care of the rest for you Family visas, <laughs> global citizens of cash out. Of course, after you make that money in um, in in mint layer. But I wanted to talk about the let's talk about some gems. Let's have a look at the world of crypto gaming. We we can look at base as well. Um. I still have no AGIX. Still good to enter. Ah, uh, no, brother. And look, I, I hope, I hope Superman Crypto is watching <laughs> because that brother is good, but he got a lot of people wrecked. Um, some, some of my friends tell me that they, obviously they're big fans of uh, Superman Crypto. But because of his bearish stance, they never really got to AGIX around 50 cents, $1. Sorry, it was always around $1 in the, uh, I think it was, what was it? Uh, last year, this was like four, uh, was it last year? Yeah, the whole of the bear market, this is like 23, 24, 30 cents. So now that it's done this and you've got 1.6 billion in terms of market cap, 
I wouldn't advise you to get into it. There would be there, there are projects that I consider entering at you know above a billion dollars, and I can share some of those projects with you. For example, uh, like this for me is one of those. I wouldn't be adverse to go into this one uh, fully diluted at 2.6 billion because I know ultimately where it's going to go. Yeah, Su- <laughs> Su- Superman is, is he's funny, man. I love that guy. He's hilarious. But I think he was just overly bearish in the, uh, at the start of the, uh, the, 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 you know, during the bear market. He was extremely bearish. You know, the guy just comes on and says, would you like to make <laughs> He's hilarious, man. You go tap a like for Superman. Only the only reason I, I talk about, you know, the likes of Arweave and AGIX and Superman is because he was saying his optimum buy prices were just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> he's, he got a lot of people wrecked, not, not deploying capital because they were waiting for his optimum buy prices. And he admitted it himself. You know, he said, look, I've not, I've not managed to get into, um, into a lot of these. And he, he said he was happy that he did, you know, he had new projects, uh, to look at, but this, this kind of merger today, uh, I don't know if you've heard the news. Ocean's been ripping as well. Um, close to all-time highs. 700 million. And, you know, look, don't get me wrong. These these projects are good. So between Fetch, Ocean, and AGIX, this is the first known merger I've heard in crypto. I don't think I've ever heard three projects ever coming together before. And uh, if you look at this, I mean, I was holding this at 17 cents. Um, was it 17 or 18 cents around? Yeah, at one point, this was below uh, 20 cents. Yeah, there we go. It was, you know, I've had this, I sold it uh, before sometime towards the end of last year. I don't really regret it. I mean, 2.4, 2.5 billion dollars by, by itself. Um, and then when you combine this with Fetch AI, um, Fetch Ocean AGIX. So they're going to, so how, how far will it go? Um, is the question. And, um, I mean, at least it tells you one thing, which is, AI is going to stay. And uh, <clears throat> as a result, I think we, we should be optimistic on some of our other AI picks, in my opinion. Some of the more modern AI picks, because the, these are three OG, um, OG cryptos. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Um, Superman plays hardball. <laughs> Look at this course what I first heard about crypto. Yeah, he's look. I have to admit, he's one. He's one of my favorites because he's funny, and he puts in the work. You know, you can tell he puts in the work. He works his ass off, and uh, and of course he he has a lot of knowledge. And you know, sometimes he calls it as it is, which is also quite nice. Um, only a few dollars, and and absolutely, and and he's for the people. You know. That man don't have a thousand dollar course. Um, so yeah, definitely big that guy up, man. He's funny as hell as well. When he does Alex Becker, that always cracks me up. <laughs> Come on, look. Crypto YouTube is full of rivals and people that just hate each other because they don't even know each other, right? But yeah, Superman Crypto. Uh, who else do I like? Um, I like... Yeah, I like uh, a few few guys there, you know. I don't really, I'm not into their private groups because I think that takes away the work, but definitely. Um, PT got into Fetch at five cents. 
quite few 1,000 sold <laughs> at seven. Oh man, that's incredible, brother. And uh, Crypto Blaney, sub brother, what is going on, bro? Hope you're well. Sleepy Crypto, your thoughts on uh, Trias? Been hearing a lot about this coin. We don't hold it. Um, I don't know if the guys hold Trias, but I don't personally hold it. Um, I believe, I think it's, uh, yeah, so this is going back to that last cycle. I mean, I, I, don't, I really don't hold this. Um, so trust a very reliable, intelligent automation system. Um, a layer one. It'd be interesting to know, again, AI powered next generation. So AI is, yeah. No, I don't have an opinion on this one. And uh, I'm absolutely no expert on Trias. Is a classic, yeah. I mean, I've always heard about it, but I've never. <laughs> yeah, the Richard Hard one is is probably my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> when he does, when he goes into Richard Hart, man. <laughs> Listen, guys, one thing I realized in crypto, it's so intense um, that you've got to treasure some characters in the um, in the industry, man. That guy's he's ridiculously funny. But <laughs> voice wise, <laughs> oh, thank you, in Belter. Nah, I'm not. I'm definitely not competing with Superman. Would you like to learn? <laughs> he even did that whole thing with the deep fake AI. Um, he did. He did a whole thing where I think he was Trump or someone. So yeah, definitely entertaining. Great content, man. Find the alliance with attack against Tao. Well, to be honest, um, <laughs> it's 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 a big alliance. Christopher, first of all, welcome, brother, um, and thank you for for your kind words. This is an alliance and a half. Now, the we might see this could be a trend setting in, in in all of crypto. In my opinion, this could be a way to go when it comes to um, this. You know, the survival of certain projects, because you have to admit, all of us that have been here in the last cycle. You, fetch, Singularity, and Ocean to some extent, they, these are absolutely surprising cryptos. They've done, even though the narrative is AI, I don't know if you've ever seen the AGIX uh, marketplace, not really that modern. Um, so on the back of that, you've got the next generation, you've got your, uh, you've got, you've got the likes of Tau, now based AI being, being worked on. Uh, then you've got the the smaller ones uh, or the mid-sized ones like your AGI and AI tech, um, but nowhere near in terms of what the fighting space is, in my opinion, you know, neurons and subnets. And obviously you've got these three that are merging now. So I wonder if these guys can actually put together a token. What would that look like? Yeah, 100%, bro. I, I agree with you. I do hold Orai Chain. I think it's going to have a good run. Um, do, 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 an attack against Tau. Definitely, look, uh, they have to survive. So the, the one thing, just to go back to your question uh, there, uh, Christopher, the one thing that's going to happen is the, the bigger they get in terms of the AI sector, the more they're going to have to see Tau. Now, Tau has still a lot, lot of work to do, in my opinion, because um, Tau, apparently the subnets are expensive, um, so it's not cheap to build on Tau. And, of course, they're going to have to put some listings. It's already done what it did with no major centralized listings. I think that's only a matter of time. And, um, in my opinion, it's up to them to to blow the market away. Having said that, there are a few projects currently under the works and already exist that I think will also be, um, the notable one is based AI. I think that that's really, we need to see where, where that goes. But yeah, it's it's definitely an alliance. Minlay is thanking, you still have the same conviction over it. Um, good question, Mr. 
Mr. Hussein, Mr. Shabazz Hussein, first of all, welcome to the stream, brother. Thank you for asking that question. And look, uh, you know, it's price action versus project versus internal dynamics. So which which one of these am I bullish on? Um, and I can tell you the ones I'm bullish on, I'm, it's, you know, what's going on right here is we had this massive, massive, you can see here from the all time high. Now, my conviction is never changed about the technology. I don't know if you've ever read the the code review of Mint Layer. And, uh, you know, it's come down this much. Now, we have to separate the um, uh, the game from, from the truth here. So whatever that's going on with Mint Layer, it's absolutely not technology related. So yeah, from from uh, we invest in technology and price action. There will be a point where obviously we've got um, we're trying to line up an AMA with the team. Hopefully that gets us uh, a lot of um, a lot of questions out of the way. A lot of questions out of the way, and uh, yeah. So my conviction to the project hasn't changed. It's just you know what can we do with the uh, with the team because we've got good questions there. Tau is the BTC of AI. You know what? I couldn't agree with you more. Um, you know, just looking at... I remember, again, you know, hindsight, because I, I don't hold too many, too much Tau, uh, but I remember trying to pick between $38 um, somewhere here. It sat in... Yeah, somewhere around here, man. I remember debating, you know, how much Tau I should pick up at these levels. And if you look at that, I mean, this was the ultimate, ultimate low, right? But hindsight is twenty twenty. Everybody could tell you, yeah. I ended up buying two. Um, I remember spending um, one hundred twenty, hundred thirty dollars. Um, <laughs> yeah, me too, bro. But the difference between you and me is, I was. Not being not being greedy, um, but I was looking at thirty eight dollars around here. I never forget that evening, bro. And uh, this is why we're we're just human. This is why nobody with their crystal ball can ever tell you anything about crypto. Yes, we can make intelligent guesses and help. You know, looking at the project quality and sentiment that helps a lot. But no one's got a crystal ball. There's no mystic megs here. Um, <laughs> I faded it at 50 and then 200. Me too. <laughs> and then for <laughs> Brother, that is, that's the story of Tao. But like, uh, how greedy was I to take two, two towels here? I mean, I, I, would, I would be much better. I, I would sleep better at night if I bought those two in my portfolio at at five hundred dollars that I actually look look at that every day and it's like I'm I'm up massively on on that but I bought two units <laughs> so yeah it, it swings and roundabouts you know you can never win everything um yo DXB uh what's up Patriot Caveman my brother how are you hope the family is well to all of you um the we talked about this one last time, didn't we? Um, sonorous, because this one reminds me. I'm I'm a big music uh, wireless music uh, distribution fan, so I use a lot of Sonos in my house, and this always reminds me of Sonos speakers. Don't ask me why. I'm I'm big into AV. So, uh, yeah, look, uh, I looked at this last time and the chart was, you know, it just went nuts. Eight million dollars, which isn't that bad at all um, for sound AI decentralization. Again, the, 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 this, this space is becoming crowded, but look at the focus here. It's a little bit different, right? So Beatman AI leverages artificial intelligence, enabling users with varying levels of musical expertise to produce unique compositions. So this is actually tackling something different. Um, so 
I'm not sure if this is the if this is what you used and Armzilla um, should be in the group somewhere uh, to to make the raps on that you did using AI. Um, <laughs> that was ridiculous. So DJ Node sold. Look, I have to admit, I do hold Gala Music, um, and I know music tokens don't generally do as 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 crazy, but this is AI. And uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of my bullish nature, I would put this into high risk, high reward, uh, as per usual. Um, I'm putting a such as genre, mood, listening to that. Yeah, this the app looks. I mean, something like this is something I would actually personally use. Um, from an investment standpoint, my thinking. I'm 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 evolving my thinking for of course myself and for the community because what I want to establish in the next couple of weeks before the halving is locking up our sound investment i.e. locking up all our tier 1 convictions and then going really really heavy on the on the on on stuff like this because for me, it doesn't make sense to have too many mid-rated projects uh, or old projects. And an indication of that is performance, right? So let's have a look at performances. So if we look at the... Um, so ADEX for the year for Solana. And, um, you know, I, will, I, I like doing this because some of these tokens haven't fully gone away from us. Uh, but it's an indication of where we are. So if you look at the, um, uh, if you look at all time this year, 2024, this is only done 2x, two and a half, oh, sorry, yeah, two and a quarter x. And I want to try and gauge how much uh, we've got left for each each project. So Casper is 3x up this year, right? From from the lows that we came in, so I really wanna I really wanna get a lot of DGEN positions open. Having said that, I wanna close off the top kind of category leaders or the top tier projects for each each category. So definitely, I do like that. It's in it's in my watch list, brother, for sure. Uh, I actually want ML dip to further. To be honest, um, the cheaper the better. You know, to like. There's nothing you can like right now. Um, ranked at 828, and uh, if we look at that chart for the year, I mean, I know this is a different chart and doesn't show you that descending uh, wedge, but look, almost two and a half x up uh, since the turn of the year. I I personally think with a three million volume, twenty seven million dollars in market cap, right? When I when I sit down with the team, my whole purpose is to try and get everything on on a level where they understand that without retail, a project can never be successful, right? So we want to get okay, guys. This is our roadmap. This is what we're doing. And to be honest, they've been positive. But yeah, I mean, at these prices right now, a thousand mint layer, it's only four hundred thirty bucks. Even I think that's going to be pretty good. That could easily return about 30 grand in the bull market. And, uh, bro, I only have two tell. Yeah, we covered that one. I saw a very bullish video on Orange about selling, thinking about selling some. Oh, okay. Wanting to use the profit instead of, okay. Okay, bro. Um, so orange um when did you get into orange brother o r n j o r n j man we had a we had a really cool entry to orange um i think we got in at 10 10 cents 10 11 cents i think something like that anyway but you're kind of giving me an opportunity here to talk about something that I really wanted to stress to the community. And it's this chart. 
I mean, all you have to do is just look at that chart from the moment we entered here at 10 cents. And I remember this was one of my uh, better calls. Uh, you know, we got in straight away and we started printing, never really came back down massively, 31 cents. Um, and right now, volume, $6 million, even though it's down 13%. Market cap, $33 million, 57% in circulation. And overall tokenomics is fantastic. Fully diluted, you're only looking at $58 million. And, um, you know, I'm hoping people actually realize what this is. So you've got to look at this. For for a long time, we were accumulating. So I've never really spoken about Orange in the, um, in, in publicly on YouTube. But this is a proper project, in my opinion. And you're not late to it. In fact, uh, if you sell it now and take profit, I mean, you can. <laughs> I'm never going to discourage anyone from taking profit, providing that you've you've got enough exposure to it. Like for example, if you a project like this could do so well in a in a in a Bitcoin narrative, and we are going to have a Bitcoin narrative, no matter what people say. Um, so for anybody fading, and and sorry if I take too long on on this particular topic, but I think it's important for for everybody here. We look at. We look at the TVL, and normally you can always see an upside to to a chain, right? So if we look at Ethereum right now, it's I think fifty one billion locked up. Surprisingly, Tron uh, was about ten million earlier, but it's nearly ten billion. Sorry, uh, nine point eight seven billion. So not too many people are focused on Tron, but Tron is quite big already. And then of course Binance is about five billion. Solana is about 4 billion and you work across and then the biggest layer two is Arbitrum. Now, all of a sudden, look at the growth potential of base in all of this. And this is coming in the last, well, since the end of February. So this is spiking up massively. And this is why when, when people talk about front running protocols, this is the sort of thing. Um, and for example, you know, we got into Aerodrome about at 60, whatever, 62 63 cents but it hasn't you know one month changed 200 uh two and a half x hasn't really got away from you and this is where sometimes i really wanted to show people this so let's look at bitcoin in tvl right guys take a honestly take a mental note of this and this obviously in relation to orange whether it's mint layer stacks alex labs it doesn't matter Look at the TVL in Bitcoin, right? It's ridiculous. Now, for me, projects that are going to bring um, use cases and be build a layer twos, liquidity, don't fade those. <laughs> Do not fade those because everything else is great. You know, base, we've got, uh, you know, we've got a place to grow and, um, you can even look at SUI as well. Very interesting right now um, in looking at SUI because SUI and Aptos haven't had the run, but they've secured big money. And I remember last month or a couple of weeks ago, they were here in Dubai. And there's big things that are going to happen. So in the SUI ecosystem, the ones that we look at, such as um, CTES, uh, SUI Pad, and um, Turbos Finance, you've got to look at those as potential opportunities because SUI and Aptos from a, from a liquidity standpoint, they have a lot of money uh, that's going to flow in, uh, but nobody really knows their projects. I know a bit more about the uh, the SUI projects than, than I do with the Aptos. So this is an area of interest right now. Um, but going back to BTC, um, you know, looking at Orange with their, with their wallet, the wallet, the browser extension, uh, easily manage your Bitcoin and, and all other protocols in one single browser. What do you think these big boy Bitcoin whales are going to do? They're going to have the entirety of crypto. 
And it's not just this. And I'll show you a couple of key plays. Uh, actually, what I bought today, and um, I think I've added it to the uh, uh, to the to our buy alert on the Discord. So look at Alex Labs, right? All time highs, and nobody really is talking about this. And look at the market cap, guys. And this is why I say, okay, we can buy as many poo coins as we want. But do we really want to make serious money in the market? And we've got to balance that. We've got to start eating at the big boy table and then and then diversifying and then going to the casinos and then having that X amount of risky projects. Uh, so this is one to watch, in my opinion, um, because this is going to grow with Bitcoin. And nothing's going to beat Bitcoin in terms of market size. So build finance on Bitcoin. Create the best in its class financial apps for Bitcoin with Alex. Now, 200 million or 250 million. So for me, it's still a small cap, right? And then above 250 million, you could say mid cap. And then, of course, uh, above 1.5 billion, you can call them large caps. But this is, in effect, giving you um a launch pad that will that will host i'm sure a lot of good projects um you've got tons of you know you've got a lot of things that right now the market is looking for that's in front of your eyes and a lot of people will miss it so definitely want to consider um the leader in the class is of course stacks this is way too big for me, right? Having said that, uh, you look at something like this and right now it's at 4.8 billion and uh, fully diluted. I think it was, um, yeah, no, it's ridiculous. So 6 billion. Now, something like this is the alpha play, but the beta plays are also equally as good. So definitely orange, um, Another one I think that's still under undervalued is Ords. And right now it's come down. Still fairly small in terms of market cap, but this looks like an accumulation chart, in my opinion, before a breakout, possibly after the halving. But look at the volume, nearly $10 million, $9.2 million, $39 million in market cap. And uh, yeah, fully diluted, only $158 million. So money will be in this Bitcoin ecosystem for sure. Wanted to use the profits for, okay. I faded it at 5,200. Yeah, we talked about that. I got you beat. Bought tower at 40. <laughs> 45. Sold at 120. <laughs> yeah, they had an AMA today about RWA. Um, nothing regarding the team or any FUD, uh, I don't think. No, it's exactly, you know, it's good that they're focusing on the positives. Um, and uh, for me, it's a, it's a good thing. It's just, you know, if they came on to my AMA, I would ask them some bullets as well because we need performance. We need price action. That's why we're buying the project. Any updates on Galaxis? You know what, bro? Good question. I reached out to uh, somebody from there on Telegram, and they haven't responded to me yet. But I'll, I'll, I'll definitely stay on the course. And uh, and a warm welcome for to you, Jason and Jumpman, and uh, the rest of you. I've greeted already. Gonzo's here as well. Um, geez, <laughs> man, you made quite a good profit, to be honest. Yeah, I did, bro. But you know, I would rather have a hundred of those, right? It's a uh, human greed. So if I had to put 10K investment and obtain 10X, what are your picks? Ooh, good question, bro. I'll come back to that one in a second. I'm loading on Tatsu. Got 50 tokens at the moment and it's going to explode. You know what? I, I went away and I looked into it and I'm just waiting for a bit of price action. Um. You know, to be honest, I haven't really had a deep dive into into Merlin Chain, bro. And uh, yeah, perhaps I should. I should look at that. Man, very lucky, bro. Three cents. 
Anyone received a gold airdrop on Alephium? No, bro. What are they doing an airdrop? We're going to have to find out, bro. Let me come over here before. I uh, did not was it an NFT? I've received some stuff, but I don't know what it is. Is it an NFT? I don't know, but I have the Elysium wallet open, bro. I just like opening it every time. And then brother said, I have 225,000 cash. I'm getting bored. I'm thinking about selling 50% and putting something. Oh man, it's so tempting, right? Uh, Crypto Banker spoke about Tet today. Wait until they find out about ML. Yeah, fingers crossed, bro. Um, KuCoin is going to an airdrop. I apologize to the users to withdraw. Ten. Oh, okay. Wow. Details to be announced in three days. Fantastic, bro. Thank you for that update. It's pretty cool, man. Cass, Cass, Cass. I knew Cass was going to come up and uh, anyone else received? Okay. Let's talk about Cass for a minute. And I think the, um, it's funny because we, we came up with Cass. I mean, personally speaking, I, I, I have, I'm grateful to this project this year and last year because I made decent money. I'm still up on my position. I haven't sold any. Um, in fact, I bought a little bit. And in terms of selling it, you know, as long as like it's, I always say to myself, if I traded something that I've been accumulating for a while and I make money, can I get back into it? It's a, cal it's a very calculated, it's a big risk in my opinion, but you have got, in my opinion, you just really need a dollar to make a to make some good money. So, in terms of selling it, I would say if you do, just keep a decent bag. But I wouldn't sell it at this price because I think the uh, the upside would be better. You'd rather sell it at twenty five, fifty cents, a dollar, dollar plus. So just yeah, just keep your bag. And. Uh, there is a wallet from Orange. Yes, they do have a wallet and they have, I think it's iOS and Android too. Um, yeah, this thing is still tiny in, in, in market price. Uh, sorry, market cap. It's really, really small. And I somehow feel like, you know, with their development, I think these guys could do really well. Uh, so they've got a desktop wallet and they've got an application as well. The way I see it, Minlay could could be a buy now or might be right. I know it's sixty percent off the bottom. It's like a bargain. Yeah, look, uh blockchain educated, thank you. Um uh, and welcome back to the to the stream, brother, um or sister. Look, uh buying an asset like that at, the, at these prices is not it's not the issue. I think the issue is uh it's really hell that level um which if you look at this there always has to be a point of reaction right so i i really feel like holding this level is going to be quite key so yeah potentially you can right now but i would wait for this move to be completed so if anybody tells you don't look at the charts don't listen to them and I know some some groups don't look at charts, and that's a shame, man. People are getting absolutely wrecked because of that. You have to look at the charts. They'll give you much. There, there's so much news that I can draw from, or so much story that I can actually read from this chart that nobody or no fud can explain to me. I know the general direction since the all-time high has been a down downward slope. Now that's been a good accumulation. So if you actually look at, across the um, 
across the entire chart, then it makes more sense. You know, if we go to the zoom out, you know, if we then put the FIPS on from this move from here to there, boom. At worst, we may come down to 786, right? We may come down to 786, but that, that, that will be a macro event. Do, do, do. I have a gem for you. Yeah, uh, 04DX. I think uh, Supo spoke about it as well the other day. Um, it's orange decks, if I'm, if I'm not... Uh, 04... Yeah, it's orange decks. I'm sure it's orange decks. Yeah, it's not on coin market cap. It's on coin... It's on Coin Gecko. Zero four DX. Yeah, it goes into that same class, right? So if you look at this right now, uh, the market cap was. It's pretty small, I believe. First generation Bitcoin DeFi hub. Okay. Yep. This was launched, I think it went on to Mexi yesterday or something like that. Ah, uh, okay, sorry, the the by the way, Silver Server. Thank you, brother. Um uh, Merlin Chain, yes, I know I've heard about this before. Um there's a there's a guy, there's a Mexican brother that talks about a lot of the BRC twenty stuff and he had it as a uh, as a recommendation, yeah. Definitely look, gonna look into that. The way I see it, mid layer could be a buy right now. Yep, we we'll run into that. Maybe sometime next year after the <laughs> hundred percent, bro. My plan for Casper is to keep at least five k for the next bull run. Definitely, you've got enough there. You know, you could you could be sitting on a gold mine. One one thing I really hate, and I'm really against um, in crypto, is selling your bags. If I ever have a sleepless night is only because of the crypto I sold. And even if I'm in good profit, it's just sometimes selling it too early or taking profits at the wrong time. You have to be super convinced. What is going on with NACA? This is going to be dumping since yesterday. Yeah, I think it's to do with, um, it's to do with KuCoin. Uh, number, as you know, so let's have a look at NACA. Boom. So you've got, I mean, it's all relative. Like on the daily, it looks absolutely horrendous. Probably a downtrend for the week. But yeah, you just have to zoom out a little bit. Uh, and you can see it's done. It's actually on this level right now. A hundred. It's still 180 million. That 30 million volume to me sounds like a more buying than selling, right? So... But NACA, to be honest, NACA and Miria, I believe they just ran up too fast. So it could be, I mean, if we look at the chart. Nakamoto consensus. Boom, that's a sell-off. I think this is to do with the uh, KuCoin situation. I don't know if they're an early investor or... Wow. Yeah, from that move, I mean, it smashed through the 786. So that's a, it's a serious sell-off. This is no drill. Oh, okay. I mean, if you take the entirety of that move, then it doesn't look too bad. Look, 50% um, correction or more for these cryptocurrencies is inevitable, in my opinion. So if you hold NACA, we'll need to find out more news, but I think it's definitely to do with uh, uh, KuCoin absolutely um, uh, kind of being fudded. Am I still bullish on Baby Croc? Baby Croc was more of a trade, uh, but if you hold it, Baby Croc... 
some of this for me some of these smaller meme plays at seven million dollars in market cap i'm hoping you don't have a massive exposure and you just have a small moon bag because that's seven million dollars still three million in volume and uh i mean you can see here it's as volatile as anything build a small bag whether it's this uh whether it's uh, this one here, because the memes will get wrecked, in my opinion, fairly soon. Um, sorry, let me uh, see if I can... Am I going to sneeze? Nope. Um, let me give you a couple of good meme coins. Um, stuff that I've been buying, and, I, and I'm thinking about Pepe, for example, at $500 million, Right. So the 24-hour volume of Book of Meme is around $500 million, $5.5 million. And the chart looks super, it's crazy. So having $1,000, $500 in this horse is not going to, it's not going to harm you. I can, I can say that with such confidence. Another one that's going to run is our good old friend, Donald Trump. This has come right down. Because you got to think, November is going to be wild, right? So I'm I'm hoping to see a chart where this just drags for a little bit and then boom, you know, he comes out making speeches and whatever. Could you imagine what would happen to this when when you know dur during the primaries and the and the debates and the debates, presidential debates? I mean, uh, he's probably the nominee right now, outstanding nominee in the in the Republican side. So. You have to think strategically. This this is going to have so many memes coming to it. So definitely uh, get yourself a good quality memes. Another one that I was eyeing that just kind of fell off a little bit was this one here. Still holding $15 million in volume, uh, $42 million in market cap. Uh, what could happen? Could this, could this have a revival? But definitely Trump at $175 million is a definite buy, guys. Uh, Sleepy Crypto, I love your response and interaction with the questions compared to the other YouTubers. I'll definitely... Yeah, thanks a lot, bro. And and the funny thing about it is it's only $9. Uh, no, no courses, no lifetime memberships, <laughs> no gimmicks, no penguins. Straight to the point. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to upset the guys. Shout out to my fellow YouTubers. You can't, you really can't knock the hustle, man. Um, thank you, brother. But I really do appreciate that's a beautiful content. For anybody that hasn't read these con comments, he said, I love your response and interaction with the questions compared to others. I'll definitely be joining your Patreon. Welcome, brother. And you're going to get me, the likes of Mo, um, um, Zilla is there, Muzz is there, Jumpman is there. In fact, everybody from this live, Hassan's there, um, PT's there, Caveman is there. Everybody from this live is actually from uh from our from our Discord. So yeah, definitely big, big shout out to the boys and to yourself. Um You should at Sleepy. Is that Sleepy AI in Belter? Um by any chance. Um uh, or sleepy from the base side of things. Could be. <laughs> Jason, you're just let it. <laughs> 10K investment. Let's be civil, guys. Investment to non fictional advice, please. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll deal with that in a second. Not just a good sense of humor. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I think people are selling NACA to get out of KuCoin. Yeah, I think so. I think so, brother. By the real Pepe, OG, 2006. Ronald, Mr. Mayor is in town. Okay. We had a buy led at $2. And I think we did it together with based AI. And looking at it, it's one of those things that you never actually buy enough of. Because I think this will have a burning mechanism so the just so you guys know, the intention here is to make this bigger, the OG bigger than Pepe. So they want the father to be bigger than the son. So you can see here, $3 billion. 
And honestly, there is a plan to detro- uh, de- dethrone this bad boy with this one, which is the original uh, Pepe. Now, at the moment, um, seven days, I think 2x, I would say, about 2x. So it's not really a million miles off, in my opinion, in terms of the the market cap here, 500 million. When Pepe was at 500 million, just to give you an example, you could buy a billion tokens for about $900, right? That same billion tokens, and honestly, I'll show you the calculation. This is how we need to think about these meme coins. So I'll show you that exact calculation. This is why when you look at Book of Meme or you look at Pepe coin and you say to yourself it's expensive, well, let's look at the cost of a billion, right? So the cost at three to four hundred million dollars of Pepe would have been around what you could get for right now it's seven thousand six hundred dollars right you could have got that for the same as seven hundred and sixty dollars and it's only at three billion dollars right so that's why i reckon honestly looking at the bigger meme coins you don't really have to worry about if it's three hundred million dollars. You know whether it's uh, whether it's a Brett, whether it's a, a Pepe coin, whether it's um, Trump. These things pay the pay for themselves. So yeah, definitely the OG Pepe coin is primed to do crazy numbers. Boom boom boom! Let me use a way or Pepe coin. There's there's Pepe coin. Um. Yes, you know, Mr. Mayerson said, massive AI project about to launch called Based AI. Huge, huge, huge project. Yes, I think we, uh, yeah, we we definitely got into Base uh, at around $5, $5 just about. So that was a really, really nice run. I would, not all of us got to the Pepe one at $2, uh, but right now it's not even... If we have a bit more drawback, I think it will be still good entry for Pepe, in my opinion. Hey, guys, give a like for Moonboy Capital Ventures, my brother. We, we had an amazing podcast the other day on Sunday. And guys, we're going to be dropping that soon. And please, yeah, check out his channel because he's definitely uh, an intelligent guy. Um, he's a pro retail investors. Uh, he's also a, um, a crypto whale, an investor, runs an amazing podcast. Definitely, brother. Thank you so much for, for that comment. And uh, I really enjoyed our podcast. And I think, guys, when I talked about stacks, when I talked about the reason I bought Alex Labs was because of uh, my, my brother here, Moonboy Capital Ventures, because he's also a mint layer investor as well. And it it just kind of like switched the light bulb in me. And that's why I really wanted to bring, and I told him, look, you know, what do you, what do you think? And he was like, look no further than the BRC twenties and, and the Bitcoin e- ecosystem. Um, so yeah, massive shout out to you, bro. It's very common to have 50%, 60% corrections. Absolutely. Yep. I agree, brother. Um, DXB on it, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> get it into the groove is no brainer seriously it's it's you jason you know it's all of you guys you know we try to make it affordable and uh it's almost an analogy where everybody just you know if every, everybody had had money they would just go and park it at the bentley garage right nobody will go to the uh your your nissan or your toyota garage and we're just like that you know we're steady eddies in there did you see the crazy little run Origin had yesterday? Yeah, that was, listen, keep Origin, bro. <laughs> Honestly. Hey, bro, can you check a new coin VDZ? Yeah, sure. Why not? VDZ. Voids, right? There we go. 
decent volume circulating supply we don't have let's go straight to the app craft a unique premium quality proprietary assets tailored to your gaming ventures right okay tokenized game assets you know it's funny right this week tokenize everything right tokenize my house i'm gonna tokenize my vehicle <laughs> i'm gonna talk gpus this by the way i love this because what this has done is it said what do retail investors want to hear right now and by the way i haven't looked into the project fantastic volume and market cap to volume ratio is great but to tokenize your gaming assets trade your uh trade based on ai and rent a gpu multi-narrative that's unbelievable that's exactly what retail wants so what i i'm being sarcastic a little bit but when i hear that i want to put this into a bit more scrutiny but i do like what i see here first of all the website is quality uh a cloud studio cloud was the other one so now i've got four narratives with one cryptocurrency brilliant um flexibility scaling Is this his own blockchain? 2% ecosystem, 4%, 1% GPU expansion. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, this looks good, man. Let's look at the all time chart here. Okay, it just launched. When did it launch today? Yeah. Yeah, this is brand new. And where can we find this bad boy? Um. Uniswap, the dreaded Uniswap. <laughs> yeah, you know, Uniswap is probably keeping it uh, below. Yeah, definitely, brother. I will definitely check this out. I know a few of the guys hate Uniswap and, and Ethereum in general with a passion. Um, and, and to be honest, I do as well. But this doesn't look bad at all. It fits doing that nice little volume from Uniswap. I just need to look into the tokenomics. Do you know the team? But yeah, it looks it looks it looks decent so far. A lot of narratives. Nice one, Jason. J Jason's been gem gem hunting. Uh, Mint layer is at an amazing level. What's going on, Zach? Welcome. If you consider the price target of thirty dollars, it's over seventy x from here. At thirty dollars, it's not crazy. Absolutely. Listen, I've always, I've always said, ML, the fact that obviously we've stacked our bags, I think we've been buying it longer than most communities. Um, but yeah, definitely. It's, uh, I want to try and see the macro dynamics and of course, D, D, you know, send out DCLA, uh, DCA level alerts accordingly. But there is one level I'm watching right now uh, just to make sure I get a confirmation. Yeah, Jason, man, I hate ETH too, man. But what can you do sometimes? Hopefully, base will alleviate the pain uh, moving forward. Talking about RWA narrative, check up. Uh, yep, on the prop chain, I have it. In fact, if you remember our last live, this is actually published in our Discord. Um, you're gonna find and and i i literally published this before the before the um uh, before the massive run but one of them is props that's probably the one you're talking about right and the other one that i had in here was not even really over soil at three million dollars at the time now it's nine million dollars ten million dollars still very very good and of course, land share has been getting some attention, but Relio, still a tiny cap. Soil, still a tiny cap. And definitely props. Uh, sorry, uh, pro, uh, prop base or props. Yep, 64 million. And it's on Aptos, right? So yeah, definitely a great, great little project here. Any alpha on Aptos will be supremely welcome, guys. Because I think Sui and Aptos will take off. But now Sui has, people know more about the Sui ecosystem than the Aptos one. 
So I'm hoping, this is how I want us to play this. I'm hoping that the entire RWA narrative just quietens down. Like, for example, right now, I believe we should be stacking gaming right? It's a no-brainer. Right now, most of our efforts should be on gaming because right now it's just dead. Uh, Bitcoin layer two's dead. Layer one's silent. So th this is the time when you sort out what's going to move and what's not going to move. So one of the plans I want to do with the guys is to look at this entire list and, and break it down to just what we're going to hold for the for the bull market because there's no point of being in every single one of these right absolutely no point but there are gems here that will potentially go 100x for example ondo i think still has about 20 to 30x left xdc is a massive massive crypto it may not be for this bull cycle in my opinion for maximum gains but it will have further down the line maybe 2020 uh, 2029 um it can run. And then of course, you've got all of these other ones that I've added here that could do well. Um, you know, trade we got into below $1, I believe. Um, I've got the buy alert here somewhere. And um, yeah, any of these, the only thing you've got to do, in my opinion, is when the narrative is fully out, it's difficult to tra chase the green candles. But if you wait for a little bit, the, it, the narrative kicks back in when you've already closed the bags. That's why it's not. It's very important to hold on to your convictions. So from, from this list, if you ask me today, what RWA place would you have? I'd say, look, let me go with, if I want to save bet, I'll go with uh, Undo. And then obviously from here, I'll definitely look at the prop trade. Um, sorry, prop this one uh, and poly trade. Mint layer fits in everywhere. So like like my friend said, that's a that's a pickaxe. And then I will go pick one of these. Or maybe, yeah, one of these for a nice little ride. And that would be my RWA play. Let me just scroll down. Do, do, do. RWA talking about the yep Lil Satoshi finally got my meme coin <laughs> moment with cheers did you take a look at it yeah still a 50x maybe um yeah I did take a look at it bro um I think we can we can probably do meme coins real quick here um, three million dollars, and it's on BNB, right? Yeah, it looks it looks fun. It looks fun. <laughs> Check this out, a real world. Oh, sorry, this is not the meme. Are you talking about the? What is this? Unleash the potential of RWA. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, I thought you meant the meme coin. IGO stake to earn. So what are you selling here? Shoes. Explore now. Ah, okay, still under development. Yeah, I like the look of that, man. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Finally, a moment. Big brother, I have a question. I have my Rio on OKX. I have, okay, I live in Holland. Can I trade anymore on OKX? I want to send them to other wallets. Okay. Exchange. The problem is OKX have to, okay. On Stella. Okay, brother, look, uh, I don't actually use, I have maybe an OKX account. I've never used it. Um, but that, that's a good question. If anybody knows, uh, so can you, can you send it out to cold storage? Yeah, it'd be interesting to know. We'll try and help you, brother. Don't worry. Um, And by the way, welcome, James. Welcome, brother. We've uh, wanted to send them to Mexi, but... Uh, okay, I got you. Rio on Algorand. Uh, and it doesn't have the option. Bugger. And you can't you can't actually sell it. Obviously, you can't sell it with the, on the exchange. Yeah, we'll have to. Let's, let's think about that one, bro. 
I'll speak to the guy, see if we can help. No, it's only on Dex Tools. Yes, I do. It's Cheers, Soul. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay, DiCaprio. Yeah, we'll definitely take a look at that. You want me to check it now, so let's go to Dex Tools. Oh, let's go to Dex Screener. You said cheers, and I ended up with the um, <laughs> real world asset. How strange is that? <laughs> Just like a game in AI BRC20, I think we need a, to be careful with RWA projects aspect. Yep. I think, look, um, that's a that's a fantastic point. And this is where I, I'm thinking about just picking the winners. And the winners are clearly in front of us. Like if you had four, five, 10K to put into a project, I would say go with the best in its class, right? That that would be Ondo. And if you wanted to degen a little bit, I would say E towards the bottom of the um, bottom of the layer here. But having too many of them, for me, that's a problem. Like, I really want to save people money, time and effort, because a couple of things, and while we're on this point, I think we need to kind of agree on a strategy moving forward. Some of us are sleepwalking into the bull market. Some of us are going in, and I bet you any money now, September next year, November, during the election, you'd be looking at your projects and thinking, man, they said it was going to go on Binance. And it's going to go on Coinbase. And you're going to find out soon, some of these projects have no liquidity, right? So my honest, like if I had to drill something in your head today would be, you know, pick the cryptos very carefully and pick your best in class of your moon bags, right? If you're in, I don't know, uh, IOSE or rent up whatever you've accumulated that's a blue chip keep you know keep hold of that and then look at your moon bags and just spread that quite nicely please because i think for me the issue is the longer the bull market goes the more in denial people become and people will say oh you know what i'm in this token it's going to do 100x the exchanges won't even let, let you sell sometimes have you noticed if you sold pepe or if you sold a big cap, your order is filled at market price immediately. I think most of you know what I'm talking about. If you sell a token with less liquidity on an exchange, they'll actually put that as a pending order and they'll fulfill it in the queue. So just think about that now. A couple of, a couple of things I want you guys to cut out. One, the expectation of multiple listings. Two, be ruthless with your money. If you've made 10x on a play or 20x or 30x, as some of you are up so much, take some profit, put it into your into your key project. You know, if you've made 20x on a Relio or Rio, uh, if you've made 20x on this one, Soil, yeah, take a little bit of that. Get yourself a little bit of Ondo. Makes sense. Uh, do, 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 do. Joey said a game in AI BRC20. I think you need to be careful. Yep, we talked about that one. So many BRC20 dexes. Now it's crazy. Yeah, definitely. Um, again, you know, look at the look at Alex Labs. Look at the top of the tree, and then pick up a couple of levels below. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be enough for you. Spread your risk. You know. Maybe you take an Alex Labs and then you take an Orange. Um, you know, you take an Alex Labs and then you have Orange and then potentially you may have uh, BRC20 layer 2, like a mint layer as a, as a D-gen play um, that can do multiple Xs. But have, have a Rolls Royce in every category. Um, what's going on, John? Welcome. John from NYC. Hello, brothers. With 3k euros to invest, does it make sense? 2000 on Casper, 500 on GFAL, 500 on ML. Okay, and uh, lower amount of Casper, add more projects. I'm at your Patreon, brother. If you are at my Patreon, and um, first of all, please DM me 
Yeah, that that's exact same question because I want to guide you. I don't want you to put all your money uh, in that manner into these projects. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Yeah, just e- say, send me the same thing and I'll take a look. Because I don't think I will do it that way. Because two look, two thousand euros is not a small amount of money. First of all. Um, but you've got to be strategic with it. So yeah, definitely. I will, I will definitely help you, brother. So yeah, I'm going to trim this list down, guys. And then the other list I'm going to trim is the BRC20s, right? So right now, Audi is, is something that I've held from $2. So good, let it stay there. I don't really care for it. It's going to it's going to run, it's going to run. I mean, not going to buy that 1.2 billion, but I think this project will will go with Bitcoin. The one that I'm actually really interested in right now is Alex Lab. And that is because I see this as a beta play to stacks, right? And then of course you've got Orange um and then I've got Dgen plays here like Audigen uh Audi Swap which is a pretty good project. And then the rest of it, I mean, Audiswap is what, in terms of um, market cap, is about 150 million now. Um, yeah, so that's it. I mean, of this list, I would consolidate into about three or four projects maximum. Um, three or four maximum. So that's, again, given us more opportunity to bring down our level of exposure to projects then another area that requires a massive attention is this area here we can't buy everything so so far um i've got majority of these tokens at smaller levels so i've bought um for example i bought the i bought this uh mf the other day and uh, i tested to sell a little bit on mexi and of course, it's got low liquidity. Um, but this for me is going to go and consolidate. So if some of these smaller investments run, I'm going to take it. I'm going to sell sell them and I'm going to put the money into perhaps the um, uh, stuff like Prime. Because what we can do is, let's say you did a 30x on a game and you, you sold half of it, you can cash it out, or you can take another half and then stick that into one of your big convictions. But this is where we need to be. If you look at the market is red, really, on gaming, majority of these gaming. I mean, they're up a little bit, but you can actually have so many, so many great picks from here. All right. And then that's it. You know, we sit, I want to be in a position where we sit back, relax, and uh, have a cup of tea and just watch the uh, bull market rip because that's the best way to think about it, right? And then and then AI, um, you know, I'm going to remove Ocean. Okay, and then obviously Tau is just a category leader for me here. Uh, I don't hold a big position. So from this list here, some of these are actually dual narratives, so some of th- some of them will be deep in, and um, and yeah, definitely we'll 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 do that. But guys, essentially, what I wanted to do today was, I really wanted to talk to you about uh, category leaders and cleaning your uh, cleaning your uh, portfolios because if you do that, I think you're going to do really well. Um, ZK narrative. I mean, another one that I've recently um, we added here was uh, Poly Polychain. Is it Poly? I'll get the ticker up anyway. It's in my supercomputer narrative. Um, and I'm not sure if anybody's playing that supercomputer narrative. Um, let me see. 
And you can see both of these are starting to get ahead of steam. Both of these projects. Does it make sense? Yeah, we've covered that. Thank you so much, Johnny. Hi, DXB. What do you think of VARA? Um, let's have a look. VARA Network. The ticket sounds familiar. 39 million, 6 million in volume. Uh, da, 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 da. Chart looks like it's been chopping. Let's have a look. First of all, I don't hold it. So that's why I'm checking it out, brother. But uh, developers network, we're pre okay. Run your own dApps. The highest performing layer one decentralized network. Gaming, finance, and many others. So this is a it's a blockchain, right? A DeFi blockchain-based finance alternative to expanding financial possibilities beyond traditional system DeFi applications. Right, you know, DeFi has never been that sexy, if I'm being honest. Uh, but supply chain. Because tokenized assets through NFTs is going to be something that is probably going to take off at some point. Um, communication parallel messaging okay yeah this is probably a, a deep dive um, so is it worth buying at the moment I would say no that's because if you look at the tokenomics and if you look at so this has never been in a bull run I, I suppose yeah it's come out towards the tail end of uh, last year and uh Ultra fast scalable layer one network powered by Gear Protocol. Environment for the development of future of crypto. Okay. Vara sounds like the crypto governing body of Dubai. Virtual assets and something authority. <laughs> but, uh, oh, Gavin Wood is involved. Okay. All right. Well, look, um, let's do a bit more deep dive to it because it looks like a, it looks like there's a ton of information out there. But yeah, definitely, brother. Thank you for that. I'll, I'll check it out in more detail. It's down at 46%. I can only assume that there's, there's a bit of vesting going on here. Another one in Web3 that I absolutely love. And again, we got into this quite early and it's never on here, but it is Andromeda. Andromeda is... There's, look, end of the day, we can all agree there's too many cryptos. <laughs> there are too many cryptos and this is meant to be, I mean, the chart is looking to, looking to do something soon. But this is kind of like uh, the first decentralized on-chain operating system. So it's not really um, uh, ICP, which is a complete uh, category on its own as a supercomputer. It's an all-on-chain and multi-chain uh, suite of products, tools uh, that enable you to do decentralized operating system as well as uh, OS or Andromeda operating system. And right now, and this thing looks pretty solid. It's integrated with the likes of Injective, Terra, Stargaze, Secret, Juno, Archway, Zay, Orion Chain, Axelar, and they'll be launching on these other platforms too. This one is a sleeping giant, in my opinion. Some of the projects, they come out and then obviously they linger around a little bit. That's when you're probably likely to invest in them. Uh, but if you look at the chart, I mean, when it came out, we got in and then it kind of went sideways, $32 million, fully diluted 1 billion, um, and soon to go mainstream, in my opinion. 
another one so if you if you've ever seen um and i know i talk about this one but if you've ever seen the coinbase ventures uh uh portfolio this little bad boy sits in there the only thing is i'm at the moment i'm mining it and uh <laughs> it's a strange crypto that has something called the proof of time, work, and space. And uh, you do something called smashing in there. I think this will eventually be listed on a, on a tier one exchange, in my opinion. But right now, it's a difficult project to store. So you've got to store this right. I mean, all my favorite cryptos right now, uh, I'll just quickly run through them. I was expecting this to break down below four, uh, 2.4, 2.3, but it never did. Just kept on grinding up. And that's where we are at the moment. 200 million, back to 200 million in terms of uh, market cap. So guys, look, uh, smash the like button. I think that's, it's been a good stream. How long have I been on here? I think I've been here for a while now. Any more questions? Oh, we've got enough likes. We've got 48 viewers, 36 likes. And uh, yeah, it's a good night's work, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And um, stay safe out there, guys. If there's any more questions, let me know. Otherwise, as they say in Italy, man, arrivederci. And again, John, thank you for that one. Because if Gavin Wood is involved, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out, man. Gonna check it out, brother. Salut, guys. Have a wonderful evening, yeah? If we don't have any other questions, I will love you and leave you, man. So, anybody who's not in our Patreon, get over there. Get over there, guys. Yeah, are we still live? I don't know. We might be a uh, fact turn. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for asking, brother. Fact. Uh, the fact is, I love that project. I actually bought some. Um, I think myself, John from the group, um, and uh, yeah, we've, we've been buying fact. In fact, I can give you, I can give you my chart. It's right here. So you notice I had a little box here, John. And uh, we've come all the way down in it. And these are fantastic, fantastic prices. Fantastic prices to accumulate this project. Do, do, do you solve a favor? Get over, <laughs> over there. Um, yeah, definitely. Jason, let them know, brother. Cheers, bro. Thank you so much, brothers. Still live. Yes, <laughs> you're welcome back. <laughs> Sugar Lump, what's going on, bro? What is going on? I was going to wrap it up, but, you know, every time we we try to wrap up, you know, more and more people join in. Uh, we might as well look at a couple of charts together. This is Dex Check. Looks, looks okay. Um, under 10 cents, by the way, guys. This is a buy alert. Under 10 cents as we speak right now, which is pretty good for this project. Um... Your life, you're still on. Just had my dinner. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Listen, man, we're, it's Ramadan, innit? We don't eat over here, bro. Uh, <laughs> we're just giving you some charts. Yep, Claw AI looks like a good DCA buy. It may come down a little bit more. Cal is a definite buy. And John will agree with me. We've never seen it below these levels so this is another gem that's heading into the right direction um gfal 
Well, GFAL is just trading in this massive range. It's just been on between these two uh, boxes forever. So, yeah, GFAL hasn't got away from you. It's interesting today. Somebody was saying we need the team to start talking here. We might have to do what we did with Mint Layer and go after them. And um, what else can we buy? OPSEC. Yeah, OPSEC right now, I mean, yeah, I'd probably like to see a bit more retracement here. Layer AI. I mean, Layer AI is really like now performing a little bit better. Um, OTK under 10 cents. And uh, yeah, for you Tower buyers, it must be a fantastic day because Tower is affordable. It looks like AGI wants to retrace. I don't want to talk about that lithium today because it's pumping. AI tech. Well, I did a, um, I think I did a buy alert yesterday. Um, and I think AI tech right now, it's such a good buy price. You know, what is it? 25 cents. It's a fantastic buy price. So if you want to DCA into that, you absolutely can. Um, what else can we look at? Shrapnel. You see that? Shrapnel has come all the way back to 24 cents. And you can see the range high here, 40 cents it went to. So that that's again, that's a really, really good buy, guys. Miria now under one cent. So the, these are, for me, uh, the golden opportunities uh, right now. And by the way, you know, when you DCA, just throw a little bit there and, and, and you know, just start accumulating your bag. Zeta has been ripping lately from there, but it's come back. Would like to see it under $2. I would love to have, uh, we've got a bit of chirp. Chirply is going to be a dark horse, in my opinion, for a number of reasons. I think they've, they're constantly doing partnerships. And it could well be that this little project does goes on a run. Um, Manta, we haven't spoke about Manta for a while, but uh, below $3 is when I get interested in this. And ideally, I would love to buy this around $270 in that box there. Uh, mint layer, mint layer is DCA all day, every day, uh, <laughs> twice on a Sunday. And uh, can we can we just break this descending triangle? I hope we can. GTAI, this is, yeah, again, this one is uh, low in terms of the, um, in terms of entry right now, this is, this has got to come down all the way. Uh, under three dollars for me to be interested for all my people holding hello hello has fallen and fallen and fallen um this is a critical level in my opinion hello needs to respond to this level here but uh yeah right now hello is just a steal and then obviously casper <laughs> casper is at the 618 and i think it's going to range for a bit. Uh, Stephen is one minute behind. Where are you, Stephen? All the way in Australia, bro. <laughs> Look out for April for GFAL. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, brother. That will be nice. Anyway, guys, that's all for now. And uh, thank you so much for your support. And definitely... I'm going to I'm going to shoot See you on the next one Take care guys Yeah.
See you, brother. Thank you. We'll do another one soon. <laughs>